from Tojo. Just um, let you know a little bit about what our uh, plan is for this 2018 year. Um, you've seen in the past probably some of our electric vehicle conversions and uh, really wanting to do a new video of a uh, lithium battery conversion. We haven't done one of those yet and um, we've definitely used them and know that the uh, lithium has a great advantage over all sorts of stuff. So I uh, started a new Patreon campaign to possibly fund this next conversion. Um, we've also had a few things change on us now. We run a, a farm here. So uh, when we don't have time for farming and kids and family, we'll try to build another electric vehicle conversion and see what you guys think and see if we can't get everybody on board to start changing the way we do things. Um, I think I saw a, an Adam ruins everything the other day with my son. I don't really like to watch those because he kind of gets on my nerves a little bit, but um, I suppose that's what he does for his appeal. But he, uh, you know, he said one person can't make a difference or something when it came to, um, you know, changing to more efficient appliances or efficient equipment or maybe using solar. I'm just saying it and summarizing. And uh, I just know as, as far as our company, A-Fuel, was concerned, we did 250 vehicles like uh, F-250s and, and trucks like that. Uh, switched them to run propane as a primary fuel or or to use propane most of the time and uh, we did the math in just those few couple of years you know we saved millions and millions of gallons of uh, carbon monoxide just me and uh, my partner and another couple of individuals who installed these um, so that's just a couple people and we made the difference in millions and millions of gallons of of a poisonous gas into the atmosphere so I think when you say you can't make a difference, just one person, you know. Um, I just don't think that means that person may be kind of lazy or something. They don't want to really try. What's it going to hurt? Um, a lot of people don't realize, too, you know, hey, why? What? we don't have to focus on the efficiency side. You know, you could say hey, electric vehicles are cool because, number one, they get up and go faster than these, other, you know, a standard vehicle. They have more torque. They're, they're just, it's almost, for lack of a better word, smart a smart car because they know when to just like in a factory when the equipment's using these three phase motors and everything that are popular now in these electric cars um, they became smart for a reason because they needed to save money because these are dependable motors that need to um, run equipment that has to be never down you know so if you can get a high quality three phase setup then you're efficient as well um, not to mention that it, it's uh, also the most durable and, and widely used, um, easily accessible, non-maintenance or no no mate low maintenance on these. Um, anyways, long story short, that's why factories and stuff have been using them, and that's why they're so advanced. So putting them in, in a, a vehicle is, is the only way to go. Um, that can also, you know, uh, back to the efficiency thing. It, let's just take an electric car. It's quiet um, is one. Like I said, it's if you can have the right setup, uh, it's basically free to use. You just plug it in. It's your solar st station. Sure, they cost money in the beginning, but it's just the cost after the fact, I guess. Cost of use is what a lot of us need to start focusing on. Um, you look at your car and say, hey, wow, this doesn't just cost $20,000. It also We have to put fuel in it. We have to this cost of use over the next couple of years. So if you do the um, the math and maybe look at stuff that way, you could say, hey, this electric car costs 20,000. I got 5,000 in solar panels and it's only gonna cost me about, you know, 30,000 over the life of this thing where maybe your other car was 20,000, but it ended up costing 38,000 after the 10, next 10 years to use. So you're looking at the electric side. Oh, not only was it cheaper, but it was actually better for us and cooler. It actually has a lot of benefits when it, oh, you like power and torque? Oh yeah, it's better in that category. Oh, you want it faster? Oh, okay, electric, still the winner. Sure, it's got a lot of hurdles um, as far as storage and energy transfer, um, thermal 
cap you know capabilities of the wiring and stuff we use now to transfer stuff that fast but um yeah that was my rant for a little while long story short we're, we're putting up a, a patreon together and um maybe even a a kickstarter or something for um you know here in in Bittenville where we're located there's a lot of demand for technology because it's all kind of outsourced um, that's local and so if you have a local company specializing in these things we can really globally have an impact pretty quickly if you're uh, if you have the right thing set up so I think we're at the point now where if we all team up together we can we can do something about this with uh, the resources we have locally with our knowledge of electric vehicles and uh, alternative fuels not just as a concept but as in um, in use and actually tried these things in different technologies and, and used them practically every day, serviced them, um, sold them to customers who were doing even more than we were on a day-to-day -day basis, farming and things like this that need these things. They're not just looking for a, you know, a gimmick. They need a real deal solution and, you know, have savings of up to 50% just in fuel costs um, fleet wide and not to mention that you also can add up in the millions all the volume or I'm sure there's a fancy way of saying it but the volume of of get poisonous gases let alone carbon dioxide that we've saved from the environment just by using these different fuel sources so um, that was just a couple of us, two people at one point in time doing these vehicles could save millions and millions of gallons, poisonous gas. So um, I think we could make a difference, just one person. But us as a team, if we'll get together, we can uh, do some neat things, but also help change all this for the better for our kids, our grandkids, and just life in general. So thanks for watching and uh, be on the lookout for our next electric vehicle conversion or possibly a, a from scratch conversion uh, I'm sorry a from scratch build we've got a an LSV which is a low speed vehicle they go 25 miles an hour on legally on the on the roads that are uh, rated at that and uh, we may do some stuff to it I don't know it's it's electric and needs a new lithium battery pack put in it and so we'll see how that goes so thanks for watching it's been fun and we, uh, we're going to get on to this next project. See you soon. Thanks.